Hello, Dumelang, San Bonani, Molueni, and a warm welcome to the Maths Genius Video Tutorial Series brought to you by SABC Education. In these tutorials, we help you unleash the mathematical genius in you by showing you key mathematical concepts and how you can master them for success like a true genius. We're going to talk about multiplication of fractions. But as you know, a fraction is a number that can be written in the form A over B where A is the numerator and B is the denominator denominator right so any number that can be written in this form is a fraction so if we have a number 1 over 2 and we want to multiply it by another fraction which is maybe 2 over 3 how do we do it right if you remember in addition and subtraction what you did was that you first of all made sure the two denominators were the same and then you added the numerators. But now it's different when it comes to multiplication. Because with multiplication, what you're simply going to do is you're going to multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So in this case, it would be 1 times 2, right? The numerator times numerator divided by denominator times denominator is 2 times 3. So your answer would be 2 out of 6. But now, in mathematics, you have to adopt the idea of simplifying a fraction to its simplest form. So it means that whenever you've got a fraction, the denominator and the numerator should never have a common factor. A number that can be divided into the numerator and also divided into the denominator. So if we look at it carefully, you'll find that there is a common factor between 2 and 6, which is 2. So we ask ourselves, what is 2 divided by 2? And what is 6 divided by 2? What would that give us? 2 divided by 2 would be 1. 6 divided by 2 would be 3. So what we simply did was, we took our answer 2 out of 6 and we divided by the common factor. The common factor is that number that can divide into 2, it can also divide into 6. And in this case, it was 2. So what you do to the top, you also do to the bottom. So we divided by 2 and 2 and we got 1 out of 3. So that means that the multiple 1 over 2 times 2 out of 2, 2 out of 3, will give us 1 over 3. Reading it in English, you would say half of two thirds is equal to one third. So you're saying that one third is half of two thirds. Because in, in mathematics, multiplication implies is, is, is read as off, right? So off. So this is one half of two thirds, which is one third. Because one third plus one third is going to give you two thirds. So can you see, you can actually prove the fact that your answer is correct because we know that one third plus one third equals two thirds. So that's how you multiply fractions. Let's try another one. Six over, so let's call this A, let's call this B. Six over 10 times, 3 over 7, right? So we have another one. So the rule is very simple. It's a case of saying numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So it's a direct transaction. It's a direct operation, right? Where you don't have to go through many roots, but it's just a matter of way. Numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So 6 times 3 divided by 10 times 7, which is equal to 18 out of 70. Can you see? So now we're asking ourselves, are there, is there any factor, is there any number that can be divided into 18 without leaving a remainder? 
and can also be divided into, um, into 70 without leaving a remainder. So the key now when you're doing this is to look and say 18 is an even number. 70 is also an even number. So that means that most probably they share the number 2, right? So 2, okay? So we know that if you divide 70 by 2, you get 35, right? And you know 35 has got a very few factors. What are the factors of 35? 1, 7, 5, and 35 itself, right? So, we can now use that information, right? To say, okay, divided by two, divided by two. What is 18 divided by two? It will be nine. What is 70 divided by two? It will be 35. But, we know that nine is not a factor of 35, and we know that the factors of nine are also not factors of 35. So it means that we don't have a common factor. There is no number that can be divided into 9 without leaving a remainder and can also be divided into 35 without leaving a remainder. So it means this answer is actually in its simplest form. So you have multiplied these fractions. So practice more with more questions and you will be a master at multiplying fractions. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Unleash your mathematical genius today. If you have any maths questions, you can post them for free on www.mathsgenius.co.za or email them to info at mathsgenius.co.za.